hey guys welcome to another video um i know it's been a while since i made a video on youtube um i've been really occupied i've been really busy with um my telegram channel and some other investment i have going on um but i want to quickly break down your jpy it's going to be a top down analysis from the daily time frame to the intraday time frame the four hour time frame and the two hour time frame and pretty much, I'm going to walk you guys through what we can expect um, to happen to this pair uh, in the coming week or so. So, firstly, we're going to start from the daily time frame and then walk our way down. So, what I like to do on the daily time frame, and this is pretty much my top down analysis, right? Um, usually, on the daily time frame, the zones that I'm going to draw out right now, they usually stay the same all throughout the course of weeks, months, maybe years, pretty much they don't really move or they don't really change a lot. So when you see me draw the zone on the daily time frame uh, on any pair at all, whatever the pair is, whether it's a currency pair or um, you know cu cryptocurrency, commodity, whatever I'm looking at, when I draw the zone on the daily time frame, that zone remains the same for a period of time. So what i take into consideration when doing that my zone is pretty much i want to see the number of times the market got to that area or that zone and reacted from it i'm pretty much i'm just looking for maybe two or three reaction at most and if i can find two or three reaction from a particular zone on the daily time frame then that would um you know tell me that that zone is um is a valid zone and i can actually um be at a, at a lookout for the market whenever the market trades back into that zone. So, firstly, we have a zone right here. Okay. And like I said, this zone remains the same for pretty much months, weeks, even years, right? So, we have a zone right here. We have the first touch right here, and we have a second touch right here. And we have a second zone right here. Again, just from, we have the first touch right here, and we have the second touch right here, and um, pretty much you could zoom out and try to look um, at past market prices to see um, where the market, how the market reacted at this zone. But I'm just going to be focusing on recent price action, really, um, just to make the video not too long, and I want to give as much value as I can in um in a short period of time so we have an another zone right here so we have three zones of interest we have this zone this zone and this zone now this zone um depending on how the market is going to react in the future it can either serve as support or it can either serve as resistance but it's very necessary and i think it's very important that as traders we should draw our zones on the daily time frame because it gives us a clearer picture of price action and if you take the zones and you want to try to draw it out on the one hour time frame and two hour time frame you're going to see a lot of times that the zone will be invalidated and the market might just break through it or might not even uh, but just we, we we act from there only once, right? So if you draw the zone on the daily time frame, you have a better, clearer picture of what the market is trying to do, right? So I'm gonna just um, lock the zone so that in the future I don't temp out them or anything. So I can move down the far hour time frame now, and pretty much what I'm doing on the far hour time frame is just trying to look at recent price action, and if you I've been um, paying attention to my, or if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that pretty much the four hour time frame is just where I look at recent price action. I just want to make sure that um, whatever trade I'm looking to trade, I'm going to trade it in the direction um, of the recent trend in the market. And the four hour time frame give me a clear picture of the trend. I can take the daily time frame and try to look at the trend on the daily time frame, but I prefer looking at the trend on the four hour time frame because that's where um, I'm an intraday trader, so that's where actually um, you know my focus is on the four-hour time frame, the two-hour time frame, because those are the intraday time frames, right? So going back on the four-hour time frame, just trying to draw the, the zone, it's we can easily identify that we're in a downtrend, and that is because we're creating a series of high, low, higher, lower high, and lower low. So. Pretty much we're in the downtrend. This is a bigger picture, right? If you go 
uh, I'm sure pretty much if you go on the lower time frames, like the two hour and one hour, you can get to see more um, intraday price action. But overall, we are in a downtrend. So we can identify that just by drawing out this trend line, right? And we can easily identify this as a downtrend. So the market currently right now is in a downtrend, right? So what else? What after we have identified that the market is in a downtrend. So what's the next thing on our list? What do we do now? Pretty much as traders, we should have a hindsight to what we expect the market to do. Um, just an overview of what we expect the market to do. Pretty much that that doesn't dictate um, the, to the market what it should do. But as traders, we should go into the market. We should have like an overview of what we expect from the market. So after identifying that the market is in a downtrend, the next thing to identify is do we want to be looking for buys or do we want to be looking for sells? Now, as an intraday trader, there might be some buy setup that might uh, um, present itself and we might want to take those buy setup just to you know make some profit for the day. But overall, we should be overly concerned about the overall direction in the market. And the overall direction in the market is we are in a downtrend. And so understanding that we can now start to look for um, areas in the market where we can look for to take sales, right? So I identify my area in the market. First of all, the the, the most important thing we want to, um, you know, pay attention to is, are we still in a downtrend? Okay. Are we still in a downtrend? Yes, we are. And where we can tell is the fact that the market broke this previous low, right? So we have a break of structure to the downside. We can identify that as a break of structure to the downside. So with this, we all we're looking for is an area in the market where we could potentially look to sell the market, right? So back on the daily time frame. I'm going to draw this level and that I have a, I'm going to make a video in, in the coming weeks trying to explain why I'm doing out this level. But for those that know what I'm doing, um, just write it down in the comment section or what this level represents to you as a trader and how you would approach trading into this, um, this, this, kind of, this such level in the market. So we have a level right here and I would be looking to trade I would look for the market to trade back into this level and potentially look for um, a sell from this level. So I'm just trying to get the level up. I'm trying to get it card. So yeah, I'm looking for the market to trade back into this level and I'm looking to take a sell from that level. So if we go down on the far time frame, right? we can easily tell that we have some level of imbalance and fair value gap. And, you know, it's going to be in a full video where I'm going to break down exactly what I'm seeing in the market. But currently, this level is a level of interest. And also, we can use our premium discount tool to tell if we have a valid sell um, level from. So, like I said in the previous video, when when you see the market, okay, this this zone right here is a premium zone and this zone right here is a discount zone so whenever we see the market trading uh or we have a zone in premium then we know that that zone is valid because we want the market to trade back into premium and then trade back into discount and that's where we get the best trade setup from so going into this week what i'm looking for is quite simple um, I'll be moving down to the two hour time frame or going down to the two hour time frame and I'll be waiting for the market to trade back into this level. Pretty much it tried to do that, but just creating all this liquidity that's going to sweep. So, um, I'll be waiting for the market to trade back into this level. So something like this. And then I'll take a sell and I'll target all the slows. I wait for them. I would. I would look for the market to sweep out all of this liquidity and uh, straight back into this area of demand or area of support. So this will be my. Uh, this is my trade setup on UJPY. So what I'm looking for is 
on the two hour time frame, I'll be waiting to see the market trade back into um, 138 um, spot five. And if the market can trade back into 138 spot five and give me my entry, then I'll take my entry on the, on the two hour time frame or on the one hour time frame and trade it back towards one territory spot four. So that will be my target. So pretty much um, I have a signal group. Um, a free Telegram signal group where I post um, my trade setup and sometimes I give a free signal. I have a VIP group on Telegram, but pretty much you're going to get all the links to my Telegram and Discord in the description of, um, below. So if you like this video and if you want me to make more videos like this, uh, showing you guys how I look into the market, um, how I drop my uh, resistance, my support, and, um, my support and resistance, my zones, um, you know, like this video, comment and subscribe. And I'll do my best to keep you all updated on how this trade progress um, in my social media, um, you know, group. So without further ado, I really do hope you have, you all have a great weekend. And I look forward to talking to you guys again in my next video.